Hello Avengers fans, and welcome to the brand new, first ever Avengers podcast. You're probably wondering if you've come from the YouTube side thinking, The Avengers, so are you going to be talking about Spider-Man, Batman, Superman? Well, not Superman or Batman, but Spider-Man, Thor, Hulk, Iron Man, then what? No, I am not. I'm talking about the British 60s program, The Avengers. Now, now... With this podcast, before we go on to talk about episode one, part one, because the rest of the episode, act two and three, were lost. But I'll get on to that before we start reviewing what we did end up getting. Now, I rewatched this. Some episodes are available in BritBox, and if you can see if you want to the video version, some episodes are available on DVD, but I'll talk about the DVD box set more in episode two, when I review episode two. Now, with this podcast... The way it's going to work. So I'm going to talk about series 1. I'm going to talk about the Avengers. Series 1, 2, 6. And then. I'm going to talk about the DVD extras. They're on the DVD and other bits and bobs. To do with that. Then we'll move on to the Avengers film. Which was a film made in 1998. Um, which is based off. The original series. And once we watch the film. We're going to move on to the new Avengers. Which is the series that Joanna Lumley was in, which was in the 70s. And then, once we've done that, we'll move on to the Big Finish range. Now, Big Finish have adapted, um, how do I put this? Adapted, like, lost episodes from series one, the way they've got the script. Lost episodes from series one, uh, comic adaptation. Now, there was two Avengers books, which is one we've done the Big Finish stuff. We'll try and read all the... We'll try and cover the big... The, um... Avengers books. Because I watched a documentary... Um... Before this. And there was... Um... Books... From the series. Stay hydrated. Um... I just thought I would mention that. Because then it doesn't sound odd. Other than the break. And if you're watching the video... It's not odd that I'm holding a drink. The reason why it's in some... In a container... And not in a normal glass, so I don't want to spill it on my desk. Now, let's get into series one. Now, today I watched series one, episode one. I rewatched it, and so it was fresh in my mind. And what had happened was, was because the first episode was lost until two thousand and one. We only got the first act. Now, the first series wasn't the style of the Avengers that came to be with Diana Rigg and that. Diana Rigg wasn't in the first episode at all. It was about just an average couple that are doctors that work at the doctor's surgery. And there's a hidden bloke who wants to find out more about them because he's going to assassinate one of them. Now, for anyone that's not seen this episode, it's spoilers. But you probably have because why would you be here? This is probably posted on every Avengers Facebook group I am on and on the Reddit page. Now, this episode was, wasn't was good. Not because it was bad, it's just because of where we are now with a lot of 60s programmes, like Doctor Who, uh, Dick Dixon and Doc Green, and many, many others. A lot of episodes are lost and not found, and bits and bobs. So Doctor Who's got quite a few episodes left to be found again. Uh, but the Doctor was on BBC and this was on ITV. Now, they lost a lot of the first episode. And then in America, in California, someone had found series one, part one of Hot Snow, which is the episode. Now, it had Ian Hardy in it, I think, if I'm saying his name right. He was in the first series, but then they swapped him out. And that's when you got your regular peel and steel type stuff. So that's all came afterwards. So there's not a lot of episodes left. Available, um, but the DVD box set does its best, and Britbox just has a random selection of episodes, which hopefully one day will have every episode like like the DVD does, um, and then Britbox will have two point four children, which is there's a podcast on that, which is really good. But episode one, now it's a lot of it reminds you of the sixties, so smoking indoors, smoking with a pipe. Um and, and and it's black and white, so a lot of it's black and white. It's in its 
uh, format, which I don't know what the numbers is, because I'm not very good at numbers. I, I don't know. It's like two by f I don't know. It and it, it is really good. It's good quality for a DVD, and it's enjoyable still. Now, if you were if if we ever found the full episode, I would obviously watch. But I think Big Finish did do the whole episode, but I haven't got any of the Big Finish CDs yet for the Avengers. Um, and so I'll probably get those when we come to do the Big Finish stuff, which won't be for a while because we're doing... This. And this podcast won't be, like, every week because I currently run eight YouTube channels. So Tom Mason, which is my main channel, Who Gamer, my second channel, The Weird Side, which is what you're watching this podcast on, which is my third channel, What's on Britbox, um, and, and all my other channels, and Tom's Comedy Club, and this, that, and the other. But I run a selection of podcasts. So, Doctor Who Discussions, TV Critic, Lovely Bitter Squirrel, Squirrel, um, this one, which is four, but I have got five. So, I've got Doctor Who Discussions, where I talk about everything Doctor Who, the TV Critic, where I talk about all things uh, TV related and film and that. Lovely little bit. Lovely bit of squirrel, which is all to do with um the this pod uh to do with um Friday night dinner, and that and I must have I used to have one called Poddle Box, which was about Goggle Box, but I cancelled that one, and now I've got this one, and I've got another one in the works. Now, let's get on to talk about the episode. Was it enjoyable? Yes. Now, what had happened in the episode was you had. You had the Avengers. You didn't have any of them. It wasn't what you were thinking it is. Now, in the episode, it all began with um, the Doctors. And they're to get there. He's doing, it's like a Doctor time thing. And they're getting engaged. And she wants him to remember to get the wedding ring. Because they're going to get engaged in a week. Um, and so they go and get... So it's, it, it's a short episode. And one of the, and then the assassin sneaking around trying to learn more picks up picks up the phone goes and the ball whispering at the other end stroking a dog on his end uh, going well we we want you to take out the girl take out the girl yes take out the girl he's like yes I'll do it by five fifteen yeah five fifteen yeah right and then and then he's talking to his um. Friends are going, right, right, we're going to go and kill this girl at 5.15. Right, come on. Right, we're going. Where are we going? Well, we're going to get an engagement ring. Because uh, cause that's where they were going to kill her. Now, if there was more to this episode, you would know more. It's short episode. Um, Now, did I like the episode now re-watching it? Um, I would say yes. I did like the episode now rewatching it. Um and I would recommend it still to this day. Now what was good about the episode? Well, several different things that was good about the episode. Uh point number one, um it was a good opening to a series, to a show. And number two, it well it didn't that was it really, because it because you know of being a fan of the show. You know that that isn't how the show is anymore, or how it developed to be after that. The Ian Hardy era, which is what is known on the DVDs, is not the best, but still really good and still worth watching when you do a watch through and rewatch it all. And if you rewatch this with me, you'll be all tickety boo. But um, I really enjoyed the episode. I wish there was more. I wish we found the others. They did have a plot outline on the DVD, but I didn't want to read a plot outline. I wanted to remember what I'd seen and the bits so I could talk about it here for you guys to enjoy listening to me wittering on for 12 minutes. Now, what would I say? What would I improve? Nothing. I wouldn't improve anything because it's a learning curve for ITV. The learning curve at ABC, which was a sector of ITV, regional channel before it merged, I went into ITV, uh, and so once, so fans like us uh, need to go and discover and find these other series, find the 
film and version because of the big finish did do um lost episode type thing we need to find them so anyone listening that has access to the film like the the film which is what they were transferred onto 16 millimeter film if anyone's got access to that please 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 get in contact with the podcast if you listen to it digitally uh, if you listen to it audibly like in like listening to it not watching it come over to the weird side the youtube channel and you'll see this you'll see the podcast there and you'll be able to leave a comment and i'll be able to get in touch with you or via uh, a place good for you because i want to i don't know whether to start an email called the quite quite fantastic and avengers podcast at gmail.com i don't want to start another email i might do if this pop if this podcast becomes popular enough, like my Taskmaster World the podcast is, like Doctor Who Discussions, them two are my two most popular podcasts. Uh, the TV critic needs to be on the level of popularity. Now, I enjoyed this episode really well. There's not enough to it. There's not enough to talk about. It's a short episode. And it was only the first part of the episode. And if we saw the other part, it would have been better. Because it ended on a cliffhanger with... Ooh, Sorry about that. With one of the car- I'm gonna hold on to that though, because I think the pop filter might fall and you'll just hear me talking through the main mic like this. But we want to talk through the pop filter. Now it ended on a cliffhanger of the woman being shot. I think she was called Pepper or Peel? No. She was called something beginning with P and he was called Dan. Uh and so Dan's fiance had been shot. Which wasn't good for um, him because he seemed upset. But then that's when the episode ended because I don't know, it didn't actually show um, the assassin as- shooting. Uh, and it, we didn't hear the sound and it just happened. He might have had a silencer at the end of the gun. Now, silencers became popular because of James Bond. Now, 007 Sean Connery, I found out today, was in the Avengers film from 1998. So. We'll be reviewing the film once we've finished talking about the original series. But, hope you enjoyed the very first episode of Quite Quite Fantastic and Avengers Podcast. Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below on the YouTube of the podcast and of the episode of all overall. And I'll be able to uh, read out your answers. Or if you're watching this on the Facebook page or the Reddit page, please comment. Leave your comments there and I will be replying to them. Uh, on them places and responding to them audibly on the podcast but thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for listening to quite quite fantastic and avengers podcast and remember some of the episodes are on britbox some of the episodes air weekdays on itv4 some of the ep- I don't know, most of the episodes are available on dvd and remember i'm your host tom mason quite quite fantastic and avengers podcast will return bye